Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our EU4 multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787, and my guests Torior and Grey Hunter. Almost said Grey Wolf. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. There you go. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, let's um, just get right back in, shall we? I think I really need to get out of this war with Crimea and mm, the Ottomans. I'm gonna suggest Why? an offer and because I want to start my own wars, I have to pay off Crimea with money. Is it going to piss off anyone here in terms of Austria like, uh, and everybody else? But I did it. All right, well, whatever. Because my truce with Gallery is almost over, and I need Gallery. Would anybody? Basically, what he's saying is he needs to jump them while Austria is not looking. <laughs> Basically, what he said is alliances. I mean, shit. See you later, boys. Mm, oh, Byzantine refugees. Yeah, sure. By all means, come. Oh, what? You got that? I love that. Why didn't, they, why didn't I get it? Was that like lower cost, doesn't it, for technology? Mm, I think so, and prestige, maybe. What um, tech levels are you guys at? Um, um, five admin, about to advance, five diplo, and six military, about to advance to seven. I'm five, six, six. Uh, I would be... Five, five, five. I've only got two more ideas, though, left to take. On my first idea group. Which is what? Which is economic ideas. No. As the Netherlands, or rather Holland, I don't really need economy because I have uh, inflation reduction on my own. Which is yeah, because that's exactly why I took it. Just for the inflation reduction. <laughs> I, was, I, didn't, I didn't want it for anything else. So I was just like, inflation reduction? Get, what? They gave, sorry, sorry, sorry. They gave me that same fucking thing. Lose 10 Republican tradition or one stability. It's like the same fucking... I had that like at the end of the last episode. Bastards. Well, I'm going to have to take the Republican oh, tradition. Day. Hmm. I wonder whether I should bail Saxony out of debt just so I can get them on side in a war. Against whom? Against the Palatinate and Bohemia and Salzburg. Ouch. Do you have any other allies? I do, yeah. But I want to kind of have Saxony there to distract Bohemia. Bohemia is very, very strong. If you can have Poland on your side, then yeah, but otherwise... Well. I don't know. See, Poland, it likes me, and I like Poland, but apparently we don't like each other enough to actually have an alliance. Hold on, hold on. This might be the time to attack the Pope. This might be oh, it. I He's no longer it. allied with Austria. Oh. Bosnia and Milan only. Milan is pretty powerful. No, they're not. We just kick their asses, me and Venice. <laughs> Right, Milan were allied to, 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 to Modena. How did that work out for him? <laughs> not very well. Have you not seen my Tuscan superiority? Yeah, I just need to make sure that Venice are all ready to fight, and I think they are. So what am I going to take? I want Romagna. Yeah, okay. Right, almost ready to attack Gallery and possibly the Hansa. Losing money, but that's okay. Losing money, drinking beers, drinking beers, 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 smoking fatties, rolling bloods. <laughs> we got the bloods. We got the bloods. bloods. Yeah, I'm glad someone got it. Um, come on, <clears throat> Venice, what are you doing? Come over here. That was one of the best parts of that movie. That was pretty good. All right, I'm going to lose all my army again. Great, because Venice didn't want to jump in. Well, they did jump in, but they're going to jump in too late to save my army. Come on. Oh dear. What the king happened? is dead. Ooh. And now we have a shitty king. And a personal oh, union God on the monarch death. Damn it. That's a shitty king. What is he? Triple zero. Yeah. One zero one. You almost kind of just wish he was triple zero. It's sort of like you, you, you don't even make an effort to try and be not a complete buffoon. Pretty much. <laughs> He's age 36 as well. All right, time to buy some mercenaries. Sure, let's have a royal marriage, Saxony. I like royal marriages. How old was your new king, did you say? Or was that your heir? He's 36. I don't have an heir at the moment. Remember in um, our previous multiplayer, Torio, where I kept mm -hmm. getting, like, every ruler that came to the throne was, like, 67? Or something like that that I was getting. <laughs> and then I'd have yeah. heirs who were, like... Basically the same, like like 10 years younger than them. 
Well, now, plot twist. What? Imperial the Emperor reform. just enacted Imperial reform. Yep. Yeah. Could be worse, I guess. On the plus side, an heir to the throne has been born. Hmm, Philip he Wilhelm. Good? He's a 053, so Better. admin, not so great, but diplomatic power and military, he's decent. I'll take him. Oh, cool. Bosnia just went, yeah, we'll take, we'll take you out. The His war. claim is only average, though, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I do intend to become the Dutch Republic soon, which doesn't have to worry about such things. Joyous day. Well, not that soon. We need Admin Tech 10 for that. And well, I'm just buying soonish. six. Also, I actually spent a ton of military points to get ahead on technology because you get a massive bonus to tactics and you can build cannons. You're not yeah, that's there. definitely a plus. Are you? All right, next month we attack. Oh, fucking hell, Provence and Lorraine. Can you fucking leave Romania so I can bloody well siege it? No. No, they cannot. They have stuff and things to do. I guess that's the answer, isn't it? No, sorry. Can't do <laughs> yeah, that. no, we're busy. You want us to do what? No, why would we do that? I have to pause. We're doing stuff, damn it. I have to pause for a little while. For a little Just while, to eh? Declare the war properly. Has declare is... the war properly. I was going to say, you know what? You want to make sure those declarations are like, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's, <laughs> you know. Have your Sounds secretary like double write it just to make sure so you can compare copies. Yes, exactly that. Here we go. Got to make sure everything is just perfect. Yes. Okay, I can unpause now. I'm going to unpause. Yeah, tactics advantage and cannons. You're up to military tech level 7, are you? Yeah. Overpaid a little bit, but it was worth it. Might as well get it if you can. Might as well get it if you really can. <laughs> if you and try. now, in song. Try and try. Come on, wipe them. Wipe oh. their ass. It said Hansa would accept, but apparently Hansa did not accept. Which is a pity, because I wanted to take Hamburg from them. Maybe they no, still that will. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I feel your pain, man. Hmm. <laughs> Crisis. Crisis. Well, we can always conquer it's Scotland. The end of the world. Oh, wow, the Papal States General is called Clemens Bembo. What? <laughs> Clemens uh, Bembo. That was his name. He's actually pretty shit as well. Well, he just got absolutely destroyed by Luigi Rivera, man. Or Rivani. The great Luigi Rivani, may I, may I add. That Luigi. Making moves. Hey, it's me, Luigi. <laughs> Damn it. Hey! I knew that was coming. Damn it! Yeah. Yeah, I knew. <sighs> you know it would be really swell if I, there was actually some good advisors on, you know, on offer. But there's absolutely none. Oh, cool. Absolutely wiped out their army. I'm doing pretty poorly on money. Just had to switch my level 2 for a level 1. Okay, I'm sieging away. What are you guys doing? Sieging away. Oh, you attacked Pope, actually. Yeah, well, I thought yeah, he's no longer allied with Austria for whatever reason. It's the time. And you have Venice. Hmm. Yeah. And you were all like, oh, Milan's pretty tough. I'm like, Milan's not tough. I saw what Milan was. <laughs> no, mate. I saw what Milan was. And it wasn't very tough when I beat up... Uh, <laughs> as, as I basically answered you, I was like, yeah, Milan were allied with, allied with Modena as well. How'd that work out? <laughs> Do you see Modena on the map anymore? <clears throat> no. Nope. No more. Well, you do. Anymore. They're just now a, a sort of like dark grey colour. They're a more beautiful colour now. They are a more beautiful colour. In fact, their province is just more beautiful full stop. It might actually get raped and pillaged one day. Because it's so beautiful. What, Modena? Yeah. Hmm. What the hell did you do? I didn't rape and pillage anyone. What do you mean? Don't make those accusations. Nuremberg just got into a war with Salzburg, Frankfurt, Burgundy, Brabant, Flanders, and the Palatinate. For some reason. What are they fighting over, I wonder? Ledger, inform me. 
Almighty Ledger. Who are you talking about again? Pretty much. S seer of the future, teller of oracles. Reveal thy information to me. Essentially, that's what I'm asking it. Oh, in Burgundy, isn't it? Yeah, but who Mind started? Mindsian Conquest Mind's dead. Archbishop Prick. Ah, Archbishop want... Prick. Is that his name, know. Archbishop Prick? Uh, no, this is... Uh... Oh, why'd you get my hopes up there, man? I thought his name was Archbishop Prick. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been an awesome name, Archbishop Prick. I would almost want to go to his church. <laughs> Archbishop Prick. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Yeah. Um... Oh, it's actually hello. it was actually a gag in uh, that uh, radio series I sent you a while ago that you probably didn't check out. Um, old Harry's game when uh, Satan posed as a pope, and he was called Archbishop Prick. No, he threatened to take away one bishop's bishop Prick if he got him real angry. That's oh uh, right, his penis. I get what you mean. Yeah, that's that's the gist. Not very high end humor. I did think it was. I, I, I still can't believe, like, in the, when you were telling us that story, like, me and Miganto, who are like, both English, and apparently it was like some show on English TV and the, uh, right, on radio, and neither of us had heard it, but you had. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> like, I'm not saying, you know, obviously it exists, because you, you sent me the link. I remember having a look at the link. I didn't actually listen to the show, but it was, it was just weird. It was real. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of like. Business. It'd be kind of like me talking to Lucas about, like, neighbors. You watch neighbors? Yeah, and he'd be like, "Who? What show? Never heard of Neighbors before." Is that with the two plastic that figures? Uh, pl huh? You realize neighbors... that Neighbors is an import from us, right? Yeah, I know exactly that. what it is. Yeah, that was the joke, like as in like okay. it'd be some sort of show that you would be <laughs> unaware of in Australia, even though like, but I would know it, even though I know it's Australian, you know. I yeah. see. You see. I don't know if you do see, but I'll I'll take you on your on your words. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you on merit. Yeah. Well, thank you. This is really. So, come on, please. Provence, man. Can you just peace out with the papal state so I can fucking take the province that I'm at war for? Apparently, Austria is almost a thousand ducats in debt. So I'm thinking that now is the time where they won't go to war because they're already in debt to strike. Um. Sorry to interrupt, but Scotland has a massive army, and I just trapped it on an island. I needed to share my um, evil doings. Okay. What did you declare war on them for? I, didn't, I declared war on Gelry, my neighbor. Oh. And Scotland joined in. I hoped Hansa would join in as well, because they wanted to take uh, the juicy trade provinces from them. But they didn't, so I'll just take something from Scotland instead. Juicy, juicy trade provinces. Delicious. Yes. Delicious. They were very nice. And mm. Scotland, incidentally, doesn't have a navy, and their army is trapped on uh, Orkney. All 15,000 well, of them. Not the Orkney Isles, man. Exactly there. Um, this is really annoying, because I can't piece out the Pope. Well, I can piece him out, but I, I can't get what I want. Because? Because someone else has sieged it. You can wait for them just to peace out. On him. No, I know I can, but I'm just going to keep getting stupid, like, peace messages from them. Ah. Which well, you can just leave them. You don't have to click on them. What do you want, Romania and Urbino? I don't want both. Although I might take both now that I think my aggressive expansion... This war's gone along, on long enough that my aggressive expansion, I think, has worn off with everyone. Hmm. Yeah, it has. That would be handy. Although I don't want to take too much, because I do have, like, with, with Austria, I do have this, like, minus 21. The minus 21 unlawful territory doesn't... Like, add on to the aggressive expansion, right? Because aggressive expansion is how they calculate coalitions. Uh, yeah, but you also get, um, what do you call it? Um, a lot of unrest. Whatever negative opinion, I don't get, you yeah, get, I get unrest. Local, that's fine, I can handle local unrest. I don't worry about that. But um, I'm more concerned about just having everyone fight me. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, that, that's more worrying than having rebels. So, what's going on in their war with Provence? They're losing, they've got minus 81 war score. Oh no, that's with me. Hang on a sec. Minus 44 in the other one. I need to throw down a pause. Mm -hmm. What have you done, Saxony? What did you do? The nation of Saxony, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Saxon conquest of Cassel against, Hain against Hesse and Mainz. It is a war that they have started. 
Hmm. So who? The you tiny both of them. And you. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll jump in on that. I'm actually fighting Hess too, but I can't reach their territory at the moment. And it is yeah, being sieged by somebody else. I don't even intend to go and actually help them. They've got this. I don't know why they bothered to ask me. Then what's the decision? Just accept. Yeah, I did. Oh, right, sorry. But I had to figure out who it was they were fighting first before I hit that button, because you don't want to accept a fight where you're just going to get stomped. Oh, yeah. that is true. You know, bad That's foolish. Happen. Foolish You should at least look. Yeah, you should at least look to make sure you're not going <laughs> to get into a stupid war. But this might be good, because if they don't win for a little bit, I might be able to take Nuremberg and have Austria not be able to ask for it back. Yeah, maybe. Come on, Peralta. i wait for my man. claim to finish fabricating. Nuremberg is fighting... Uh, oh, they occupied the Palatinate province. Yes, they did. <laughs> Good for such a tiny country. They lost Come. their army doing it, though. Provence, you have the war goal. Yeah, you've got you've got Avignon. Yeah, why don't you peace out the papal state, take it, and let me beat the shit out of them for the rest of the land that I want to take. Because, okay, I gotta pause again just for a second. Okay. If you need to pause, you can just pause. You don't have to like. You don't have to tell us. Just pause. It's fine. Ah, I missed my window. It it gave it took away my castle's bell life for my mission. So I had to fabricate a new one, and now that I've fabricated a new one, Austria is suddenly like, you know what, actually, we will join that war, despite oh. being over 700 ducats in debt. They will join wars, I think, even in debt, if it's like a pissant war that they don't really have to do a lot in. Yeah, you know but what they I mean? wouldn't, like, just five minutes ago. They, they peaced out with the Ottomans, I think. That might be it. They'd already peaced out. They were just in debt. That was the whole reason yeah. they wouldn't go to war, and now they're slightly less in debt. So Alsace is their vassal. Yep. How did that happen? No idea. I'll never forgive you, Alsace. <laughs> I remember. I remember that I've I've actually got there's been a whole generation of kids born in Florence with smelly Alsace breath. And I wonder how that happened. Yeah, it was all that all that rain. The Berg village. remembers. Do you mean you had the royal marriage? No. What I mean is when they were sieging out my territory, there was a lot of uh, accusations of raping. Oh this. Yeah. I remember. I'll never forget Alsace. Don't worry. Do you remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> <laughs> you must really like Family Guy. Not really. It's just it's got a lot of quotable stuff, that's all. It does. Like the Jacques Hammer. The what? The Jacques Hammer. I have no idea what that is. I will say that it was quite funny that you actually um, say, got a lot of quotable stuff and then you quote something which is um, not very quotable. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only joking. So Anshbach just asked for a royal marriage with me. That's interesting. Uh, sorry, um, someone on your videos actually commented that uh, the pronunciation... It's not pronounced that way. I know. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to point that out because I saw that comment. No, what I know, was, and I don't someone care. Someone saying it's not Ansbach, it's... Yeah. It's they hate it as Ansbach. Me. It's okay. How is it actually pronounced? Uh, I think it's Ansbach. 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 Yeah. Well, not, not Ansbach. 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 Bach. Ansbach is the way I will say it, because their hatred fuels me. It's okay. Oh. It does See, this is the way you go through YouTube, Toriel. You're just like, no, nah, I'm doing what I want. You guys don't like it. Fuck off. <laughs> It is true that you can't sort of succeed to everyone's request. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you know, it's kind of impossible. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> people, you'll, you'll get as many people who want you to do one thing as what you do the complete opposite. And then it's like, you try and please everyone. You know what you end up doing, Torio? Pleasing no one. Yeah. And you're just sitting Pretty there much. unhappy. Crying your eyes out. Pretty much, yeah. Happened to me all the time. Uh, the Pope, listen, I would, gladly sue, I would gladly take peace with you at the moment, but... You need to work on the peace with Provence first, my friend. <laughs> I'm and sorry, but they, they offering... hold stuff that I want. But why aren't they offering Provence peace deal saying, we'll give you fucking Avignon? Do that, and then we'll be all all right. Maybe they it's are, easier. maybe they want more. Yeah, maybe. But you know why they want to do it? Because they're C-U-N-T's. <laughs> nice. You mean not smart? They'll see you next Tuesdays. 
big, massive, hairy see you next Tuesdays. Please stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just using a, what do they call it? Is it an acronym? Abbreviation. Abbreviation. No, no it's not an abbreviation. Abbreviation is, uh, yeah. It's not one of the native language. Lay off. Cool. Just, just when I needed my mercenary cost to be reduced by 20%. I got it. There it was. Uh, yeah. It's really handy as well. That's one of my ideas. Because I've got basically my whole army consists of mercenaries at the moment. <laughs> Quite pleasingly, I'm not actually losing money as well. I've got 10 merc 10,000 mercenaries. I'm still making money. It's pretty decent for, like, you know, a four-province country. I think I'll actually take the Highlands from Scotland. What did you declare war with Scotland over? Uh, they honoured uh, the call of arms by gallery. Right. Okay. Call to arms. They're, they're not co-belligerent in the war or anything. Oh, well, uh, So basically... They were honouring alliances and being nice people, and now you're going to smack them for it. Yes. You shouldn't wow. do that. Wow. Okay. I, I've got I've got General seventy two cocks here, man. Really? Danilo Saibo Mal. Check this. A five four three one. Not That's bad. Good. Shame I don't actually have guns at the moment. It'd be <laughs> even better. He's he's such an awesome general. He knows how to deal with like firearms that haven't even been invented. <laughs> He was born in China. That's he's like, from the future. Well, I don't, well, his name is Saibo, like Danilo Saibo, like it's a double barrel surname. Sa Saibo Malas Malas. Cyborg. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Maybe he's a cyborg. It's Arnie sent from the future. Dun 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 dun. dun. Where are you, Tuscan? I have to get out of here. They're trying to take my tortillas. <laughs> I've come for you, John. Now I know why you cry. Thumbs up. Exactly. Oh, instantly, I was in the cinema last night. Sorry? And I was in the cinema last uh, okay. night. Okay. Oh, shit, it's time to end the episode. So, for those of you who want to know what I was about to say about the cinema, you'll have to tune in next time to find out. <laughs> See, what, right there. What, what a YouTube That's a cliffhanger. That was a cliffhanger. What, what was I going to say about the cinema? Oh, you'll Will we out. ever know? I actually didn't mean that. I'm not trying to be a dick about it. I just genuinely, it's time for the episode. I glanced up. Because when I was about to start the story, I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe I don't have time. So there we go. Right. Anyway, dear viewer, if you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. Check out everyone's perspectives if you can. If you've got the time, that would be awesome as well. And uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow when you will see some more EU4 and you'll hear about my experience at the cinema. <laughs> see ya. <Take> <laughs> Bye.